what's up my crazy subscriber this is Joe King Johnson 4 and welcome to round 2 of brother vs brother here at Madden 15 ultimate team if you guys remember round number 1 round 1 ended in a disconnection because I jumped off my seat and my modem kinda shaked and uh, it disconnected the game so we ended in a tie of 20 to 20 we were gonna go to overtime but my, my internet disconnected I guess so God damn, it was kind of my fault in that one, round one, round one. So, we ended up playing again after like a few seasons, you know, I ended up, this is like one season after on, on my side and on his side, he's actually two seasons ahead. And also, he has a record of 36 wins and three losses of to in total of uh, in Madden 15 Ultimate Team. So, he has a hell of a team and he has a hell of a skills. Also, he does ebooks, so, yeah. You can tell, you know, this is going to be a very tough match for me because I don't do pro stuff with Madden. So, what was going on overall in the gameplay, guys, is that my de my defense was struggling so much that, I, you know, he, he, I just couldn't stop him. I just couldn't stop my brother. On offense, I was, like, at least converting on third downs. That's what happened throughout the whole drive of this one. On my first, on first offensive drive, I just converted on third downs. I was lucky on some certain runs. You know, Marshall Lynch just trying his best to get out there. And he did a hell of a job. And my offensive linemen, I don't know, they just weren't pushing back. I have a feeling that uh, maybe exhibition matches take away your skill. Like, ground and pound doesn't appear. And your run stuff doesn't appear. You know, your skill that you race up after, you know, uh, gathering some few players with the same skill. I don't think they kind of act in this freaking exhibition style game. So, um, so yeah, I, I think we're playing without skills. We're just playing with with just the overalls of the players. So that's kind of alright because all my players are like eight, over 85 overall. So that's good. Marshall Lynch with the first touchdown, nice right there with a fourth and five, I believe. It was a nice counter towards the outside on the single back, and uh, you know, good job by Marshall Lynch. But again, on my defensive side, you know, they're not doing anything not even the run stopping nothing's going on Levante David over there just running around in circles and uh, down the middle unbelievable that should have been an interception I don't know how the hell he pulled that off a nice sack by Jadavian Clowney that actually stopped the whole drive right there fourth and 11 he had to go for a field goal end of the second quarter now we go into the third quarter where I ended up receiving the ball Marshall Lynch yet again trying to get his explosiveness to go off, but he's kind of slow. I don't know what the hell is going on with him, but I think he's kind of cold. That's why he's not moving that much. Now Doug Martin's turn, running the same play again, and earning those 10 yards nicely. Pretty nice blocking going on. Third quarter is all going around for me, and um, going into a passing mode, nothing. I get sacked. We both run the same kind of defense almost, and uh, that's why he got me. I know how to get, how to get him too, but my defense sentiment hasn't been reacting pretty well, so... Uh, compared to his so more of defense Dante Winner right there I'm using Dante Winner a nice pass towards the outside D'Antonio Cromartie ain't tall enough to stop freaking Hearns over there whoever that was that guy is taller than Antonio Cromartie so yeah once people once people do that you're, you're fucked you know you gotta put uh, at least double coverage on that guy or something so that's why he ended up you know passing that long ball right there this touchdown down the middle unbelievable I was pretty much upset at my D-line because they never do that they never let anybody just run down the middle but it happened today so now the score is down 7 to 17 in the fourth quarter four minutes four minutes to go back on offense trying to do the same thing with Demarius Thomas but accidentally throw it to the outside and he intercepts the ball four minutes and 19 minutes four, four minutes and 19 seconds to go um, he ends up going back on offense just passing the ball like nothing. One of my linebackers get injured, and uh, I'm, I believe Amar Brooks is out now. Uh, Brandon Browner just couldn't jump right there. I swear to God, I was pressing up one like crazy, but nothing was happening. A uh, little bit more of offense right there. My defensive lineman missed the sack and overthrows number 89 on his offense. Nice defensive stance right there. Third and ten, trying to stop him as much as I can. Bam! Antonio Cromartie does his little revenge tackle right there. Nicely done. My brother ends up doing a field goal. Down 720. 2 minutes and 40 seconds to go. Back in offense. I'm trying my best to score a touchdown right there. I'm trying my best. R1 open right there against the cover 3. Going another one. Another play. 2 minutes and 15 seconds to go. Jason Marr yet again open down the middle. Gets injured. I was like, what? Hell no. Nice play option. Fake right there. Whatever it's called. I was gonna I was gonna pitch it but I didn't have enough time I mean I was gonna wait like a little bit more because I know there was a guy in front of me more passing offense Thomas who was Thomas Demarius Thomas drops the goddamn ball back in offense again fourth and seven 
Jason Morrow comes back from an injury. Nice catch down the middle. Are we going to score? Marshawn Lynch going inside for a touchdown. The score is currently now 14 to 20. My brother runs the ball on offense. Runs down the clock. One minute and 15 seconds to go. Sack by Brian Robinson. A second stringer who's 79 overall. Unbelievable. He ends up doing a field goal, but he misses. Now I have the ball back with 1 minute and 7 seconds to go. And I know everybody knows about me. I am dangerous in the last minute of every single quarter. Well, except for the first quarter and the third quarter, but the second quarter and the fourth quarter, I am fucking dangerous. Try to run the ball towards the outside to see if I can get an easy 10 yards, but I couldn't. Go into a quick offense, throw it to Demarius right there. Nice catch down to the inside of the left side. Going into another passing place, going into quick offense, no huddle. Jason Morrow yet again open down the middle. 30 seconds to go with no timeouts. I have to spike the ball and decide what I'm going to do next. 24 seconds to go. I decide to go weak formation and watch this. Because this be the decision. Second and 10. 23 seconds to go. Ryan Tannehill with the play action. Throw it to X. Touchdown, Jace Amaro between two defenders. Between two defenders. Like, what the hell just happened there? The score is now 21 to 20. My brother's left with 20 seconds to go. And I'm afraid on this one because I know tall receivers can beat all my cornerbacks. So I try my best to like pressure him and nothing. He couldn't get it. 11 seconds to go. Causing a timeout. 10 seconds with one field. He can actually beat me. So I got to stop him down the middle. He does a little screen right there towards the left side. Didn't work for him. Freaking Levante David finally reacts towards the run. Open down the middle. Nothing and drops the ball. Four seconds to go. If he would have caught that one, he would my brother would have called timeout and actually done a field goal, but it didn't happen. So now the game is done. I end up winning 21-20. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this game. It was just incredible. We talked about it after. I was like, oh, damn, that was a lucky catch by Jason Morrow. Unbelievable. If this guy can pull off clutches like this against my brother, then I can expect that in the online world against other people. So I ended up winning round number two on brother versus brother here in Man 15 Ultimate Team. Unbelievable by cast by, by the tight end Jason Morrow. I mean, look at him, 129 yards. So, you guys want to see more Man 15 Ultimate Team? Make sure you subscribe for more, guys.